Jaime Munguia defeats John Ryder. Another glorified tuna match. Hello, fight fans. This is Coach Nathan of NS Champ 7 Part Boxing Series at NSChamp7.com, and that's the title of my analysis of this past weekend's stepping stone victory for Jaime Munguia, who is now 42 wins, zero defeats, with 34 knockouts. That's a 79% um, knockout ratio, folks. John Ryder is now 37 wins, 7 defeats, with 18 knockouts and one draw. Now, as to why I'm describing this as a glorified tune-up match, I will address this first. Oscar De La Hoya and Bernard Hopkins, Golden Boy promoters, who control Mangia, they did exactly what they were supposed to do. Hype the fight, hype the fighter, and do the best they can to make him the front-runner in the Canelo Alvarez sweepstakes, where everybody gets paid big. Also, as promoters and managers, this keeps their fighter active, which makes him sharper when he does step up in class. However, other than being active, this match doesn't specifically prepare Munguia for the skill set he'll face against the other top guns in the super middleweight division. One prominent promoter from the UK said John just had a nightmare start by the early knockdowns he suffered. But he did come back in a few of the middle rounds before he got hurt and stopped in round nine. Well, I would respect, respectfully argue that he had a nightmare start when he signed the contract for the fight, other than his payday. And to say that uh, Munguia made a statement or signature victory because he stopped Ryder in the ninth round, which Canelo couldn't do because their fight went the distance. Well, that's pure BS because real boxing people know that the more a boxer hangs around and takes beatings and the older he is, his punch resistance becomes less and less. That's why it's easier for an older fighter who gets hit to get hurt. John Ryder is 35 years of age, five foot eight. And as I said before, he has 32 wins, seven defeats, 18 knockouts with one draw. He's been stopped twice and has taken punches even in some of his wins. He did score a split decision over former world champ Danny Jacobs back in 2022. But in his last outing on the big stage, well, it was a gutsy, a game gutsy effort while being reduced to a human punching bag at the fist of Canelo Alvarez. Now, back in the day, these guys were described as, as a trial horse, veteran trial horses. Today, he would be referred to as a gatekeeper, which translates stepping stone for the young, tough, undefeated contenders in that division. And speaking of stepping stone, he did have something in common with the two other stepping stone opponents of Munguia, as Gabriel Rosado and Sergei Derevyanchenko, who incidentally had the best chance at winning because he lost a close decision and uh, to Munguia, and he was 37 years of age. But all three guys were tough brawlers who get hit and don't have the same power or ring generalship, such as lateral movement or the use of angles, as the other top contenders in that division, making them uh, less of a threat to truly beat a young, hotshot, undefeated contender, as in this case, Jaime Munguia, who can fight. Munguia can fight. He can also punch. He had a four inch height and reach advantage because he's six foot tall and he's 27 years of age. And if anyone's wondering, well, what would be a statement win coach for Munguia? Well, how about a victory or, or a draw with any of the top guns of the super middleweight division? Guys such as Edgar Berlanga, David Morrell, David Benavidez, and newcomer to the super middleweight contender status, Cameroon's own and 2016 Olympian Christian Mbile. Now, all these guys like Jaime are undefeated, all under 30 years of age, and all have a high knockout percentage. But as we all know, although this would be more exciting for the fans, that runs the risk of one getting exposed and could completely ruin your shot at the Canelo Alvarez sweepstakes. 
So that's my analysis on this one, folks. But don't forget, for elite boxing instruction, elite boxing analysis, and elite boxing philosophy, click the like and notification button and subscribe to NS Champ 7 Part Boxing Series at NSChamp7.com. And as always, I'll be seeing you the next main event.